Hello everybody, I'm Tony Nepalillo. I'm manager of the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club. We're extremely proud to be here. I came out and visited in August yeah, when um, we selected uh, SFA as a semi-finalist and I went back really just blown away and I, I told the planning committee we have to work with this school, this building, their mission um, to promote the environment to, to the next generation is something we need to be a part of. This building here has to be solar powered and I wanted to make sure we help. I worked very closely since coming to SFA in 2008 on this project. It has been a long term project but it's one that we're very proud of because of all the people that are involved. And obviously this facility kind of speaks to the overall commitment that SFA has to the environment, to forestry, and obviously to education. Uh, this building will serve to uh, educate children, to reorient them to the forest, and, and to, to educate them on the ecosystem and what, what role it plays in our environment, in our community, and in our world in general. So with that, I am extremely proud and honored to offer this check for $30,000 to the SFA Foundation to build solar on this beautiful building. Thank you so much. Yay! Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. I'm uh, Dave Creech. I'm at Stephen F. Austin State University at, and direct SFA Gardens, which is about 128 acres of theme gardens on our campus. We're the first solar in Nacogdoches uh, inside of the city limits, and this is a result of a grant, a proposal that we put into Green Mountain Energy, and out of 200 and some odd proposals, they accepted uh, ours. I think they probably funded about 10, and it's a long process, and I think we're getting uh, quite a bit of electricity. We hope we're going to go net zero. We're getting 12 and a half kilowatts, if I remember right. And what that means is we will funnel electricity back to the grid. We get paid for that, and then we take electricity off of the grid when we need it on hot sunny days for air conditioning or in the winter. But our calculations are that the way this building was built is that it's so energy efficient that we think we'll be net zero here as far as electricity is concerned. If you look at the literature and you look at what's happening in this country and particularly if you look at the price per kilowatt, uh, it's really fallen. Most of these products were really originate out of China and the prices have been coming down, down, down per kilowatt hour. So. We're seeing more and more. I work in China and I cannot tell you how many fields of solar that I'm seeing going up, plus windmills, et cetera. So that big push for green energy to get off of fossil carbon is uh, its not just here in the United States, but it's right here at SFA. It's a beautiful solar powered day. We're solar powered lumberjacks and we're here to celebrate uh, turning on the switch to a solar array. Elise was just telling me that we are generating 68.6 kilowatt hours and basically that means for the last month or so we're pretty close to net zero, maybe 80% of net zero. And solar is a part of the future. We're very, very proud that uh, SFA has made this step into green energy. We are now a member of the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club. Uh, basically a $30,000 donation from the Sun Club made this a reality. There are 51 polycrystalline panels that you see here. We're using in-phase micro-inventors in here at the Ina Brindred Conservation Education Building. This is the first solar installation of its kind here at SFA and in Nacogdoches and we're very, very proud and we're all here to celebrate the power of solar. Solar is bringing us electricity and it's bringing you all of the plants that you see out here at our wonderful fall festival plant sale. Five, four, 